So this is Nam Ki Khoi Nia Street and there are lots of hotels on this street. So if you're looking for a place to stay near the night market, this could be a great place for you. So this is the main circle where the Dalat night market will be at. It's every night, I believe, from 5 to 10 p.m. Crazy that it's even so busy even now. This is Bantran, a food that Jalat is famous for, and it's also called the pizza of Vietnam. I give it five stars, it's delicious, it's super cheap. We got a big one, and it's only 20,000. Highly recommended. Bantran is made up of this kind of tortilla ish thing. Also, eggs, some kind of vegetables, I think onions. And sometimes they include shrimp too. This is the main lake in Dalat. Dude, it's huge. Those are pretty cool. Would love to ride those. Just got done with the bakery. Now we're gonna get some lunch. And we got some delicious sticky rice with chicken too. It looks really good. What up? Just finished going to the bathroom with my VIP slippers. I know very, very nice. Thank you very much. Feeling like a king. So VIP. So because it's a holiday, there's a lot more people than normal. And there's also some different entertainment things. There's a clown and a singer. It's just a great vibe in Dalat right now. So we're here at 61 Win Van Choi Street here in Dalat. And if you see this lady right here, she is supposedly famous for cooking some of the best bang trang in all of Vietnam. But she's kind of crazy, and if she doesn't like you, she won't actually cook the food for you. She'll refuse to serve you. Continuing on Win Van Choi Street, we're walking and we're trying to find Kemba, which is the avocado ice cream. And supposedly there's a famous avocado ice cream joint on this street, so I'm gonna check it out. So this is the place. It's called Kem Chai Kai Tang Tao Kem. And it's supposed to have some of the best avocado ice cream around. We'll try it and we'll give a quick review. So we're gonna mix the ice cream and the avocado. It smells really strong. I'm not a huge fan of avocado ice cream, but it's, it's okay. For coconuts. I feel like I'm plunging the toilets right now. Shouldn't think about that when we're trying to eat this. Let's give it a shot though. Yeah, it's pretty good. The avocado is strong, so I would definitely recommend mixing the avocado and the ice cream. But four stars, pretty good. Worth 20,000, less than a dollar. Although it's not really my thing, if you're into nightlife, Fandin, Fandin Fung Street, has lots of bars, so that might be something to check out for you. So something you might have noticed in Dalat is that we have a lot of hills because this Dalat is kind of a mountain city. It makes walking around a good exercise. We're gonna give you some advice. We just got back from Dalat and editing the video right now. I wanted to give you some advice though on a hotel, or hotels rather in general, and buses. So if you're coming during a public holiday in Vietnam, try to get your hotel early because so many people are coming from Saigon and other parts of the country to Dalat and the hotels fill up. 
And even if you manage to find a room, the prices are 50 or even 100% more than they normally are. So book in advance. And if you're not traveling during a public holiday, I'd say budget four to 500,000 for your room. And that'll get you a really nice or really solid place. Very comfortable. The other thing is for a bus to Dalat from Ho Chi Minh City or to Ho Chi Minh City from Dalat, you need 210,000 and that will get you a sleeper bed in either the Phuong Trang or Tan Bui uh, bus companies and those are the two that I'd recommend you take. They're very comfortable, fairly safe, safe for Vietnam driving standards and they'll give you plenty of leg room even if you're relatively tall. I'm about six feet tall or 1.78 or 1.8 meters and I was very comfortable. That's what I recommend. Have yourself a good time in Dalat if you ever make it out there and subscribe for more videos like this coming soon.